Today, I want to talk to you about something that is very important to me, which is verification and testing in the age of DevOps. You know, I, I started my career as a software tester. Um, and since that time, I've always derived tremendous satisfaction from software QA in all of its forms. It's just, you know, it, it's just fun. Maybe I'm a bit strange, but this is really my idea of fun chasing down a bug and, and figuring out what's going on and making sure it goes away. So how do you do that specifically in DevOps? Should there be, I, you know, if, if we think of traditional waterfall development, we have a specification stage and we have an, uh, a, a, a programming phase or something, and then we have, I guess, a testing phase, and then we have a deployment phase or whatever you want to call it. And uh, I think we all agree that this is probably not the best way to go about things. So how should it work? How should um, QA work be viewed in a DevOps context? And the answer is, Maybe, maybe not very surprisingly, you know, people have been saying this for a long time, but it bears repeating because I see people not doing it nearly as much as I would be hoping, which is that, you know, as you are specifying, as you are thinking about your product, uh, the way it drives value, as you are, uh, you know, writing code, developing, as you are performing QA, and of course, later on, as you uh, deploy and then and, and later as you are in production, maybe we put it this way, you have sort of a permanent view on testing or on QA, I should say, not just testing, but you know, during specification, you should be asking yourself, how can I tell that I've done this correctly? How can I tell that the, uh, that the user derives value from it? As you are developing the actual product, you should be thinking about how am I going to verify this? How am I going to ensure that what I'm creating is the right thing and it does its job in the correct way? And so it goes um, until you reach production where you still have testing and production, you have monitoring, you have all of these things that continuously sort of give you feedback. I promised you in the last video that I would continue to talk about feedback, right? So sort of continuously, there's this permanent undercurrent in everything you do and done by anyone, not just by the quote unquote testers of doing QA considering how to verify something, actually verifying it, making sure it is still correct, that it is still the right thing to do. And of course, there's also something which might be called a testing phase, which I've made very narrow and, and tall here because I expect it will be, you know, DevOps were very strongly automated. So there will be this amazing um, automated test suite that uh, subjects the, the product to hundreds or thousands or tens of thousands of tests, perhaps. Uh, this is why I made it very tall to, to sort of show, yes, there is a lot of QA going on in a fairly short amount of time. And of course, it's automated, so you can afford to do this all the time. And you enable yourself to generate all of this feedback all of the time and make use of it all of the time. That is really important. So. As a very brief intro to my perspective on verification and testing in DevOps, that is really my perspective. Whatever you do, however you concretely apply it, you know, whether there's an actual role of QA specialists or whatever you call them, whether there is a testing phase or not, that's all beside the point. As long as there is not just a single phase in which QA happens, but rather that QA is something that applies to everybody all the time, something that everybody should have in the back of their minds as they are building software, 
much like security, right? You you don't tack that on as an afterthought. I mean, you could, but it would be a terrible idea. Instead, this is something that you design into your product. And the same goes for quality. Quality is not something that you test into a product after the fact. Instead, it is something that you continuously work towards and keep an eye on as you're building your product. More on this in the next video.